Ohio. My name is Minami Toku and welcome back to the Minnesota 1 of To The Moon. Now we're playing as Neil here, we're looking for Eva. Let's just do that, right? And yeah, because I I took the diary with me when I played as Eva, I can't look into it. Yeah. So we can't, yeah. I want to read her diary though. Yeah. Can I can I actually enter someone else's office? I don't know. I can't enter here. I can't well I think I can enter Dr. Washroom, but there's nothing in here, I guess. No, no, no. Nothing in here at all. Okay, let's let's just go downstairs. She probably left and went down to the party with the others. How do I actually the Neil leave? I'm not quite sure. Just went down quickly, right? And where where could where could Eva actually be? Yeah, where 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 did she go? And then you were like, feel my hair, feel it. Oh, man, I'm never drinking more than a shot of beer again. Wait a second, it's the next day? Oh, sorry about earlier, earlier. How, how much time actually passed? Oh, what happened earlier? You weren't there? Good, at least someone didn't see. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you got quite drunk. Heard you were playing some game in your office again, huh? Rumors, clearly. Where did the others go? Well, it's some time I left for home and I don't really know where Robert went. I'm surprised nobody here got called today. It was nice to have a peaceful gathering. Ah, we've already delayed the party because Lisa and Eddie got called in the last week. And yet you still don't come down to mingle with us. Neil. Psst, Neil! Okay, she knows something. Are you looking for Eva? Yeah, how do you know? I just saw her down the hall looking upset. Wait, why is that assumed to be my fault? <laughs> well, when I look at your face, I get the feeling that you'd piss me off a lot if you were my partner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good gosh. Yeah, I guess they piss each other off a lot, but I guess that's, how, that's just how they work, right? But I mean that in the nicest way. Of course you mean it in the nicest way. In what way could that possibly be nice? <laughs> Never mind, look, thanks for the info, I'll go check upstairs. Thanks for that. <laughs> Good gosh. I think that there's there's some other person who could also work well with Neil and make fun of him. So she should be s somewhere up here. Wait, that's a different floor. That's a whole different floor. Okay, well then, let's go here. I guess she would be somewhere here. There she is. Eva? Hey. Ignoring him. You didn't finish the game. I've played enough of it. Oh, is she? Yeah. Don't tell me you're upset about it, Zombivas. You made them yourself, don't you remember? It was clearly a joke, sheesh. I'd asked when you had become so uptight, but 
you know. Come on over here, Neil. Are you gonna punch me? I've been practicing my kara chin, you know. Uh, wait. Either it's karate, taekwondo, or uh, Wing Chun. A uh, sort of kung fu, I guess. I'm telling you, my hands are like lightning. Even I can't contain my moves. <laughs> she isn't up for joking, I guess. What's outside? Ooh. Record show up, right? Roxy said they've been gathering since morning. Who are they? Who are they? Why, why, why won't this? Why won't you show us who they are? That's quite some dedication for no pay. Okay, it's people then. When I signed up for this job, I thought I'd be respectable, fulfilling dreams and all. But those who thank us are dead, and those who support us are dying. You might not like how I do things, but I do them for the patient's sake. Oh, you're referring... You're referring to what happened in, the, in your last case, right? Oh, that's what made you think. Because of the zombie was. Come on, Eva. And more of them than I like for yours to save your sorry ass from getting fired. Yeah, good job with that. It's a feat. Do you think they're right? Hmm? All those people out there. They're all standing for what they think is right. Gee, I sure hope not. But hey, everybody has their beliefs. There are a lot of them, but don't forget that there are a lot of people with us too. Remember Lily? They aren't as outspoken because those who are content rarely find the need to bother. But we have to remember that they're out there, and remember each patient we've once visited. Remember how hard we tried, and how they left this world with a smile in the place of a frown. Sometimes, that fleeting moment of shared happiness is all it takes to make it all worth it. Are you drunk, Neil? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you... <laughs> why, why are you all of a sudden so nice? I mean, he, he just... He just said really serious stuff. That, that doesn't fit the character. Hey, I'm just recycling Rob's BS here. Give me a break. <laughs> But look, if what you're asking me, whether what we do matters, I guess it does for a brief fraction of a second before they pass on. Is that enough for you? Sometimes, I don't really know. How about you? Are you really happy doing this? <sighs> hey, I'm just happy that we make a lot of dough. Don't know about you, but I'm totally ballin'. At the grocery, I'm all like, heck yeah, I'll shell out five cents for a plastic bag. Here's a quarter. That's how I roll. So you're a generous person then, Neil. You know, that game you made of it, it wasn't all terrible. I'm listening. I mean, the graphics are antique, and the gameplay is a pushover, but, uh, um, well, same goes for this game, actually. Well, the gameplay is great because it's an RPG, RPG Maker game, 
and I love those. But the graphics are quite an antique in this game. Well, except for some like cutscene like stuff where there's actually a drawing shown. But other than that, graphics here are an antique too. I'm surprised you still remembered all that Johnny and River stuff. <laughs> yeah, sorry about it, Zambivas. Uh, what? But hey, you should have really played till the end. All that Zambivas rally together and become the heroes to save the day. Really? Totally! And they're like... Fireworks and pom-poms as all the Johnnies and rivers chant your name. I guess I should go finish then. Oh, let's not be hasty. The game's not going anywhere. You can go finish it in one, no, two weeks. <laughs> so you didn't do that then. <laughs> Phone? Hello? Thanks for the discount, but we're not looking for premium snow playing service right now. You should encode your number. That'll block most of the telemarketers. Just kidding. We're actually being drafted by a patient in critical condition. Wait, what? Understood. We'll be right over. Are you serious? Yeah, come on, we can't afford to be late. You can't just joke around about these things. You're serious? Neil? Ah, sometimes he's serious when he's joking and sometimes not. So you got some determination there. And those people too, apparently. But yeah, you finally showed us. You finally showed us what, what they are. They. Damn. Well, nice mini sword there. I, di I didn't think it would end that fast. Uh, well, I, w I would have just kept playing. But yeah, sometimes you wonder whether what you're doing is right or not. Because of someone or some people that don't like like what you're doing but yeah if if you're in such such a mood where you don't know if it's right or wrong i mean neil neil gave, gave practically the answer there oh why is that thing flying there Okay, it's over now. Sorry, I got distracted by that. But yeah, some, someone, sometimes you, you need someone to tell you. Like, you should keep going. Like, so, sometimes you need someone to motivate you. And uh, I think when, when Eva got to the, to the place with the Zombivas, she must have really, really fought hard about... Whether, whether she is a good character or not. Because like Neil clearly didn't like her too much in that scenario. Because yeah, he created those and with all the people demonstrating outside the Eva must have felt like really down. Because like you, she, she isn't getting appreciation from the people outside and apparently she isn't, she isn't getting appreciation from her partner too. So yeah, I can understand that that got her down, but that same partner just motivated her to keep going, right? So if, if you're not, if you're not sure if you should keep going or not, my advice would be just keep going, just keep going a little bit longer and see what happens. If you still have people on your side that motivate you, go for it. Go for your dreams. Go for what you think is right. But keep it peaceful, please. Like, if you're going to 
demonstrate like on the street like the people in there in the game do do please do it peacefully because they in in the past I've seen some demonstrations that just went way out of hand and people were hurt or even killed during that and no if if you're going to do something try to do it without hurting or killing anyone that's that involved i mean sure sometimes stuff happen happens and it, things get way, way out of hand but if if you if you're going to force someone to believe something or do something the other one is is going to resist naturally so please just keep that in mind that yeah you to just just don't, don't don't try to hurt anybody else or try to force anyone to do something they don't want to because it's usually not well usually it's not worth the time first of all and second it it might it might hurt them or well there's some scenarios in which you really really need to make that person do something they don't like because it's just f for their own good Th then then for sure keep going but don't hurt them please so yeah follow your dreams i guess find people that think alike and do it together with them that's that would be my advice i, I know that's it's not suited for every situation but I think in general it's more or less good advice. Yeah. Also tell me what you think about the, this scenario here. Because like I could see that some people are against what the Sigmund Corporation is doing. Like giving people a second chance at life. And I don't even know if, if all the memories get overwritten. I mean if yes that those this technique like yeah overriding memory could be used for a lot of bad stuff and i i can definitely see that people would demonstrate against this but for it's it's with everything i mean dynamite was invented for a good thing not to to make car explode and stuff the inventor had good intentions, but it's always, always the people who use it in the end. It depends on them if the invention is good or ba bad, I would say. Depends, like everything depends on how you use it and how much you use it. I mean, addiction is the same, game addiction. I mean, playing games by itself isn't bad, but if you play 24-7, uh, play then you might have an addiction and that's usually considered bad addiction well yeah all addictions are considered bad i think but yeah it depends on how you use it and how much you use it so i just advise you to keep on the safe side and if you're inventing something like there's people who always gonna ta take your invention and make bad stuff with it. I guess it's just life. But don't don't let that thing get to you and like demotivate you. If it's your dream, just just go for it. Invent something, do some stuff, launch yourself at it, and see what happens without hurting anybody. So that's my thought on this. I hope I can like listen or read your thoughts too down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. So I guess I'm gonna end this video here. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay true to yourself. Oss.